Today we're gonna check out this white teen character and this is what is included in this purchase. You will receive a fully rigged character with 22 custom poses and with very, very quick renders. Six seconds in cycles and around three seconds in Eevee. Very, very quick. And this is the wireframe. To see what's included in this kit, simply check out the timestamps in the description to see any particular part you want to check out. So the Blender version I am using will be Blender 3.2, but you can use anything starting from Blender 3.0 and the character should work fine. So anything 3.0 and up will be great. Now we are at the checking out the rig part of the video. Let's just check out the rig. So the first thing I recommend for you to use the rig correctly is to first disable the hair. We'll check out the rig for the hair later, but for now just disable it because it does lag the scene a bit. And then we can also disable the setup because we don't want anything on our screen. And we'll just start off by, uh, yeah, moving up with the rig, you can see here everything is moving we have our skirt details in case you want to adjust something you can easily just move and do things and yeah similarly i'll enable the hair we can also move the hair in case we want to i don't know animate wind or whatever but the hair is fairly high poly so that's something we'll work on in the future maybe we'll create another version that's lower poly but for now they're kind of low poly, so they might lag a bit, but everything else is low poly and should not lag. So you can see here, this is how it moves with the hair. And with, if we disable the hair, you'll see it's a lot quicker. So if you're wanting to use this in a game or something, I'd recommend disabling the hair or something like that. Uh, yeah, what else we can move the legs. We can do this. Everything is awesome. Let's, I don't know, do that. And you can check out the face, it's pretty awesome. You can blink very easily, no problemos here. You can see it works fine and no bad blinking. Eyebrows are also awesome. Um, the mouth you can see here, pretty great as well. You even have the tongue in case you want to show some lip sync or whatever. So that's also epic. We can have smiling, Pop up the oops, pop up the cheeks if you really want to in case she got hit in the face or something like that. Um, everything you need you got in this rig for poses and animations. Now we are at the changing poses part of the video. To do it, it's fairly simple stuff. We'll first make sure we have nothing selected to change our poses. And to change them, you simply go into object mode or pose mode and just click on the pose you want. Oops. See, I made the mistake. First, we need to make sure nothing is selected in pose mode. If you want to switch between poses, you have to make sure I'm pressing G currently and I can't move anything. So now if we try to change the pose, it will work. Actually, let's enable the hair so it's not as creepy and hide this. And to change the poses, just click on this and it should work fine. You can also ignore this legacy message in future updates. This will be in the asset browser and then you can yeah, convert this to a pose assets and it should work the same. Uh, you can see converted poses and I can move them and I can use them in the asset browser but currently I'm still having them here but in the future they're going to be in the asset browser but they will work pretty much the same. So you can ignore that message for now. You can see me switching between the poses. All is awesome. So to render it, it's fairly simple stuff. Make sure you disable simplify because it's higher quality then, and then simply press render. And once the six or seven seconds pass, so in my case, six seconds, maybe in your case, it can be slightly longer or shorter. 
it will render and then to save the image just go under image and save as and then just save it everywhere anywhere you want um, the usual all right we're now at the creating our custom pose part of the video to start off let's just make a t pose so we have a t pose of course and then we'll go into the pose mode and let's start creating our custom pose i'll disable i'll enable simplify and disable the hair while i'm making the pose i'm just gonna my pose will be i don't know showing a peace sign the usual so i'll move it like this i'll rotate it with r r x move my elbow a bit down so it's cool let's move the finger down We'll actually enable N, so see these details on the right, and we'll click on finger details. And then we can try to first fold the hand, and then we'll click these things to fold them even more, like, no, actually these things, to fold them even more. So she'll saw a peace sign like that, we'll do something like this, and something like that. So we'll have that, then we'll put this arm, I don't know, leaning against her hip, something like this. If you're not sure how to navigate inside of Blender, you can check out my black teen character video I made on YouTube. This has more details on how to create custom poses. I'm just running this through quickly in case you already know how to do this and I'm just showing extra things you can use. Anyways, we'll make her smile now, like this. Um, let's puff up the cheeks a bit so she seems like, I don't know, talking a bit. Or oh, maybe actually we won't. And then we'll make her look somewhere like there. What else can we do? We'll move the one of the legs up, so G, X, and then we'll put it up. And then we'll move this down like that and something like that. Um, this looks very weird. I don't know why I did it. Maybe something like this. And then we'll put back the hair so we can see how it looks. Zero in the numpad to see the camera. And she looks very weird, but good enough for us. And now we are at the saving a custom pose part of the video. It's fairly, fairly simple stuff. First, make sure nothing is selected. So I have none of the rig layers selected. If I press the yellow part and move, you can see everything moves. If I press on nothing and press G, you will notice that nothing moves. This means that none of the rig layers are selected. And now we can try to save the pose. To save it, simply go into the object mode and then select the rig. Now actually we have to go back in pose mode. Now that we have nothing selected to save the pose, Press the plus tab and then add new. And you will see the pose is saved here. Make sure you name it correctly. So we'll call it uh, peace sign hey. And now if we go into object mode and then switch between, let's say, walking neutral and then peace sign hey, you will see our pose is saved. So that is awesome. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, you can check out the links in the description if you like what you saw. If not, then not. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.